Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Brogan and I would like to talk to you about four therapeutic foods that I use in my practice. So these are particularly helpful for those who are transitioning into a more ancestral or paleo type diet. Uh, for those who'd rather eat these than to take their components in a supplement capsule form, or if you're just having trouble getting with the whole organ meats and bone broth thing on a regular basis in terms of its palatability. So to begin with, this is a desiccated grass-fed beef liver, and liver is probably one of the most important and very much lost superfoods and it is unique in its array of nutrients. So it's a powerful source of fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, K, and E, uh, also minerals like chromium, zinc, copper, and of usable iron, of antioxidants like CoQ10, and of B vitamins, uh, particularly of folate. And you can incorporate small amounts into soups or stews or sauces, and it would be barely perceptible and still confer a lot of those benefits. So this is a coconut oil which has received a lot of praise recently, I think well-deserved. It is a particular type of saturated fat, and it's a medium-chain triglyceride. Um, it does not require pancreatic enzymes for digestion, which means it's very readily available to be used as a source of energy. And it's been studied for myriad different outcomes, whether it's weight loss, balancing lipid profiles for cognition, antiviral properties. And I like to use it in my practice for those patients who are working towards more balanced blood sugar. So it can be a very good buffer for times of energy and um, sugar dips, so in the morning or if you're craving a snack. And I'll recommend that you incorporate either, um, you know, anywhere from half a teaspoon to two tablespoons in warm water with half a lemon, or you can put it in a smoothie, or you can cook with it. So then there is turmeric, which is potentially the most powerful spice in the rack. And it too has been studied for a number of important health outcomes. Um, it has very sophisticated impacts on the body around immune modulation, anti-inflammatory, pro-antioxidant production, liver detox, and even most recently has been highlighted in its antidepressant efficacy in a trial comparing it with Prozac. So, you can uh, warm that up into something called a golden tea, or you can put it into sauces or soups or even scrambled eggs. Um, it has a very mild flavor, and its absorption is enhanced by black pepper and by fats like olive oil or again, coconut oil. So lastly is, uh, is gelatin, and you know, bone broths, traditional bone broths have been used in gut healing protocols uh, with great outcomes and gelatin is essentially the extraction of um, usable parts of the bone broth. And you can incorporate it again into soups or stews, um, sauces, you can put it into warm water itself, and it just, you know, sort of like subtly changes the texture, but it is otherwise imperceptible, very neutral. It has a very high glycine content, which is an amino acid that's effective for anxiety and also for insomnia, so it may be particularly helpful. But it also helps to balance the amino acids that you might otherwise be getting from the more typical muscle meats that we eat. So these are just a handful of examples of the therapeutic uses of foods that can be used strategically in this way and uh, potentially the greatest argument for using your kitchen as your medicine cabinet. So thanks so much for listening and I hope this was helpful.